Hello, everypony. Welcome to another special Toon Critic Y2K interview. Today with me, I have Dreamshan. Hi. Well, I want to quickly say thank you for taking time out of like your awesome speed painting and stuff to be a part of this. <laughs> oh, it's no problem. All right. So, I might as well just start with this. I would normally say what's it like being a brony, all that other stuff, but uh, one question I have, why, out of all the names, why pick Irritable Giraffe? Well, that's a funny story. Um, like, when I was, like, 15, which was, like, a long time ago, me and my friends were like, well, first of all, do you know the comedian on YouTube named Balloon Shop? Uh, no, sadly. They aren't together anymore, but they were, like, really funny back in the day, and... Me and her were like, we should make a funny, like, a YouTube together and be funny. And I was like, okay, well, what should our name be? And then, like, I was thinking about it, and I was like, Irritable Giraffe. And she was like, why? And I was like, I don't know. It just sounds cool. So that's basically it. But we never used it for that comedy stuff because we realized we are not funny. So we just didn't do that. So what's the best thing about being an artist? The best thing? um, Mostly just making art like when I first started drawing like before pony stuff um I never like I was not popular like at all like I would draw stuff and it'd get like a fave here or there or something and then like when I did pony it was like bam like 40 billion faves out of nowhere and I was like whoa that's really crazy and I guess it's like a morale boost kind of but other than like that it's I don't know just like People saying stuff like, oh, wow, your art, it just, like, gives me so much feeling and stuff like people. Whenever people say stuff like that, it's just like, wow, that's really thoughtful, like, stuff like that. How did you become a Pegasus sister, and how long have you been one? It was probably two years ago, September, like, 2011, I think. And I was, like, really depressed at the time. I don't really remember why. I was always depressed. But um, I found these videos... Do you know who Rabies X86 is? That name rings who a makes, bell, actually. He makes those weird videos that are like YTP VM. I don't know what it's abbreviated as. YouTube but it's, Poop Movies or something? Yeah, it's something like that. And like, I found one and I was like, this is weird. And it was like ponies. And I was like, oh, these ponies look different from when I was little. And... I, I read stuff about them, and I found out Tara Strong voiced Twilight Sparkle, and I was like, I like Tara Strong. <laughs> so I just watched one, and I was like, oh, this is cute. So I just, like, kept watching it. But it's not as weird for me because I'm a girl, I guess. Like, people accept it more. Right. So it's just, like, a natural thing. <laughs> Are you proud to like the show? Oh, yeah. I'm totally proud to like it. Um, I've got, like, so many, like, shirts and stuff, and I always wear them to school. And, like, people think I'm weird sometimes. Like, they're like, what is your shirt? And I'm like, oh, you know, My Little Pony. And they're like, ponies. <laughs> and I just, I'm really proud of it. Like, I have, like, keychains everywhere and stuff like that. Like, I'm cool with it. Has becoming a Pegasus sister made your work stronger? Oh, it has. Like, ever since Finding Ponies, I think that's all I have drawn. Like, I literally think I have not drawn anything else since Finding Ponies. And that's not just because I don't care about other stuff. It's just, like, I don't know, ponies inspire me the most. It's kind of weird sounding to people who don't like ponies, but <clears throat> they just are, I don't know, they're cute, and I like drawing them. They're cute. How would you explain the fandom to someone that's never even heard of the show or fandom? Like, you want to try to get them in. It's kind of weird at first. Like, I would say it's kind of like when you jump into really cold water, like, in a pool for the first time, like, before you ever went inside. It's, like, really weird and uncomfortable at first. And you're like, uh, I don't really want to be here, and you, like, want to leave. But then you're like, wait, and then you, like, get used to it. And it's like, this is actually really nice. That's I think that's the best way I would explain it as. I've never actually heard someone use it like that, so... <laughs> I, like, literally just made that up. Oh, that's good, then. Any words for the haters that don't understand the fandom and that bash the show for no reason, other than, oh, it's a little girl show, it's filled with pedophiles and all that other stuff? There's really nothing you can say to people like that. There's no sense to be given to them. So I, I guess I would just say, thanks for watching my video or looking at my art. Or something like you're giving me more views thing <laughs> something like that's all I would really say to them and now for a since we're on this weird kind of topic what do you think of cloppers cloppers um I really don't mind them at all like I mean they're fine just like I don't want them to be shoving like 
that was an odd choice. Of yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> I don't want them to be like, oh, like, talk to me like, yeah, I clapped the ponies. Like, I clapped Twilight Sparkle the most. Like, I don't want to know about stuff like that. Like, I don't mind Rule 34. I don't draw it really, but I don't really care. It's just. I don't really, like, look down on them. It's just, like, what somebody likes to do. Like, if people like tentacle porn, that's just fine. I just don't want any part of that. Who do you really want to meet in this fandom? Like, besides, like, the friends you've made? The person I most wanted to meet recently has been Prince Whatever. Do you know him? Yeah, I do. It was weird because, like, last week or, like, two weeks ago, I actually did, and it was, like, the best thing ever. I want to meet um, So Great and Powerful. He sings, and he's, he's just really good. Hmm. Have you ever gone to any cons, and would you want to go if you haven't? Um, I've never gone to one, but I actually am planning on going to BronyCon in the summer. Nice. And I already have, like, a ticket and everything, and, like, a pass and everything go to it. So I'm pretty excited about that. Are you in this for fun or fame? Oh, I'm totally in this just for fun. Like, the reason I even started drawing ponies was just because I, like, liked the show a lot already, and I was like, you know, I haven't drawn any... Um, fan art, and I always do that, so I should do that, and, like, the only reason was just because I like it, and, like, getting on Equestria Daily, like, usually most of my art gets on there somewhere, somehow, sometime, and I don't really care about that, because I don't even submit it like other people do, but I just really like ponies, and I don't really care about the fame part of it. All right, that's good. That's good to meet people that aren't in this just for, like, one thing, because I at first wanted to, like, get popular, but now after, like, I'm being introduced to people, I'm like, yay, I'm meeting new people, so now I'm having fun. Yeah, yeah, it's really fun to meet new people, I think. What is your favorite season and episode of Friendship is Magic? Unfortunately, I am not up to date with, like, season three. Like, I've seen some, like, I've seen up to episode seven of season three, but I think so far it'd have to be my favorite season is season two, because that one had Chrysalis and Discord, and they were my favorite. Mm. And I think my favorite episode would be Hurricane Fluttershy. That's a good choice. That works. Yeah, that one reminds me of myself. That's why I picked it. <laughs> Which of these situations do you think the Brony community overacted more over? Like, Twilight as an alicorn or Derpy being censored? I think they overreacted more toward Derpy, because she was always a background character to begin with. And, I mean, I love Derpy, and, like, I was, like, like when I heard Rainbow Dash say, careful now, Derpy, I was, like, oh, my God, that, like, she's in the show, oh, my God. <laughs> like, that was great and everything, but she's always been a background character, and I know it's, like, upsetting that she's not even in it, but she wasn't really that big to begin with, but Twilight, she's turning into a freaking alicorn, like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I just think that's crazy, because... I don't know how they're going to do that. I just hope she goes back to being a unicorn. I don't know why. I'm just kind of against that. Hmm. What pony do you think resembles you most out of the main six? Um, probably either Fluttershy or Twilight Sparkle because I think Fluttershy because I'm like really shy when I talk to people I don't really know, and um, I don't I have low self esteem at times, which Fluttershy seems to have, and Twilight probably because I really like science and math. And I'm kind of awkward around people, like she is, and like she never really has many friends except like her close ones, and I'd say like probably a mix of them would be most like me. Hmm. If that's the case, suddenly Fluttershy is right next to you, what do you do? I would hug her, <laughs> and I'd say, you're so cute, and how'd you get here? Well, I, I don't know why I would say you're so cute first. Like if she could talk and stuff, I would like totally have a conversation with her, she'd be cool. Um, how big would she be? Because I would ask her if we could go outside and I could fly on her. I'd say she'd be, like, maybe up to around, like, your abdomen or something. Like, the, like if she was standing, like, straight, like, the head would be, like, right up to the abdomen. Well, if she would let me, I would totally ride on her back. I would, I would definitely braid her hair. What is your favorite pony-related song on YouTube? Okay, one of my favorites, um, it would have to be... Probably Galaxy by So Great and Powerful. As I mentioned earlier, he's like one of my favorite artists, and he has a really weird style of music. Like some, a lot of people don't really like it, but it's like it's like one of my favorite things. Like it's like really deep and lyrical music, and I just really like that kind of thing. There's also Make Some Time to Close Your Eyes by Adam the Walker. I don't know if you ever heard that. It's a rap kind of, but. 
not really, but kind of. That that song is also really deep. I like really deep songs. Hmm. What is your favorite Brony animation? Well, this one wasn't really done. So I don't know if I can pick this one, but it was called Children of the Night. Mm. And it was like a teaser. It was like a teaser kind of thing. And that one wasn't really done, so I don't know if I can pick that one. But otherwise, I would pick... By Silly Philly Studios, there was that one with Luna. When she turns into Nightmare Moon, what was it called? Um, it just had Luna in it, and she was singing the song. And I don't remember what it's called. Or maybe When Ponies Cry. Mm. It was like a Higurashi like, opening made into Pony, and it was really good. This one I got a lot of weird comments on um, from my Vivix interview. Which shipping do you believe in more, Megaforic and Alley Oopster or Feather and Joe the Loaf? Megaforic and Alley Oopster, because they're definitely lesbians for each other. <laughs> I totally see them all the time. I can see that. It's, it's obvious. <laughs> what do you think keeps you going, and what helps motivate you to create more? Um, what keeps me going is just the show in general, like, watching the show, like, seeing silly videos of the show, like, it's just, like, it's kind of a motivator for me, and, like, another thing would be music, like, fandom music. If it's, like, a really freaking good song, I am highly motivated to do music, because usually how, I mean, do music, I mean, do art, and, because usually how I do art is... I will find a really good song and I'll be like, man, this is a good song. And then I will put it on like a loop and just like draw for like straight however many hours I do. And then just like that song is the only one. Do you have any tips for fellow artists? I would definitely say don't be afraid to try new things because having like one like set of things that you go through, it's more like work than actually doing art. Because I used to have like... I would do my line art, and then I would do, like, base colors, and then I would, like, shade. And I would always be the same every time, and it was, like, no fun. And when you try new ways of doing art and stuff, like, experimenting with different shading colors and stuff, it, like, it makes it just more fun. And, like, I think the main, porta, main, <laughs> main point of doing art is to, like, have fun with it. And if it's something you like, then you should always have fun with it and not make it be, like, work. What's something about yourself you think that would be interesting for people to know? Like something you haven't like told a lot of people? I am a virgin because a lot of people don't think I am. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's the first thing I could think of that people don't seem to know. Like they would not think that. Well, then I can already picture the comments then. <laughs> yeah, wonderful. And finally, where would you be today without My Little Pony Friendship is Magic? I would be a very sad person. Um, I probably would have taken up drinking because a lot of the people that I know in my real life um, are into that sort of thing. And, like, I'm most of my friends are on the internet and, like, pony stuff. Like, I wouldn't have met any of them, so I would have just made friends in real life. And a lot of people in real life do that, so I probably would have done that. I would have been a partier, like a smoker. I probably would have done a lot of bad things. But... I probably wouldn't be as happy as I am now, definitely. So that basically answers this, and this pretty much confirms my theory. Friendship is magic cures depression. It definitely does. I would I would definitely say so. Well, that's a good way to end this on. Um, thank you for being a part of this little interview, and um, yeah, uh, subscribe to her stuff. It's good. I'll put the stuff down in the description, like, comment, subscribe, swag, all that good stuff. Um, anything else you want to add before we go? Um, I love you guys. Yes. That's good. <laughs> Always pay attention to your fans. Thank you. All right. See you, peoples.